What's going on guys? It is your boy Havoc here. Today I've got another tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to edit YouTube videos for free using Shotcut. Now if this video does help you out, a like would be very much appreciated. Let's go for 300 likes. And also if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I've got plenty other tutorials for you guys. If I don't have a certain tutorial that you want to see, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to take a look. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page right here. And here you can pretty much download it either for Windows or Mac. And since I already have it downloaded, we'll go straight to the program. Now I do want to quickly say when I installed Shotcut, it didn't show up on my desktop. A simple way to just find it is just to type in the search bar, Shotcut, right click and then pin to taskbar so that it shows up on your taskbar every time and you don't have to search it up every single time you restart your computer. But it's going to be always right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like when you first open it up. You're going to want to click on timeline up here at the top. And then this tab is where all your video and audio tracks will be. So you're just going to click on this hamburger button and add audio, add video, or you can just right click right here and add audio and add video. I'm going to have two audios and two video tracks. So after that, I know in some editing programs, you can just drag your content into the different tracks. You can't do that in shortcut. You just have to go up to this open file button and then try to find your files. So, I'm going to go to YouTube stuff, videos, and I have all my files right here. Also, if you guys need any help on how to make an outro or an intro, I do have tutorials on those. So I'll leave those links in the description. So go check those out if you need any help with that. But uh, pretty much you're just going to click on your gameplay, click open. And then here it is. It's showing up right here. And pretty much all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that into this track. And there it is right there. Now, obviously, I can't see everything. I can't see the beginning of this clip. So I'm going to scroll out, kind of zoom out. And there we are. We can see the entire thing if you do that. So I've got my gameplay right here. So now I want to go ahead and open up my intro. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then I'm going to drag that onto this other track right here. And I'm going to move my Black Ops 2 gameplay to where it meets the end of my intro. And as a helpful tip, if I just go over to here and see the transition between the intro and the gameplay, it's just pretty much just there's no fade, there's no transition. Um, what makes it a whole lot better looking is if you go up to filters and then you click on the intro. And then we're going to click on this plus button right here. And I'm going to go ahead and fade in the video. And then I'm also going to fade out the video. So it fades in and fades out for the intro. And I'm going to do that same thing for the gameplay. And you can do that for the audio as well. Um, but I usually like to just keep the audio the same. And we're going to go ahead and see how that looks right here. So if I just press the play button. And as you can see, much better transition. You can also change the duration. So if you want it not as long of a fade or a transition you can do that or if you want it longer you can do that as well now i'm going to show you guys one other thing that you can do with the filter button so i'm just going to go ahead and click on my gameplay and then click filter and i'm going to add a color grading so this is pretty much just color correction and also as a helpful tip like let's say that i do some crazy color correction so it looks really weird and i'm like no i don't like that so what you can do is just click on this minus button and it, it it deletes the color correction. And if you want to redo that, then you can go back to color grading. So we're going to kind of change it. You can really do a lot of just messing around. So like if I wanted it to look kind of a little bluish, then I can do so. Um, and I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe you like that. Maybe it's a little too extreme. But if I uncheck this, we can see what it looks like without the color correction and what it does with it. And then I'm also going to click this plus button and then I'm going to click on gain gain slash volume. And since I have a gameplay and it's got volume in the background, I don't want that volume to go over my commentary. So I can just lower the volume down to about maybe negative 30 decibels. And then that's good right there. Uh, I'm going to go back to this transition between the intro and the gameplay. And as you can see, 
my gameplay doesn't necessarily start. It's kind of my, my player's kind of paused. So what I can do to delete that part of the gameplay but not delete some of it, I can go to the certain part where I want to get it deleted. Maybe I don't want anything before the 30 second mark. So I can go to that, click on the file, and press S, and it'll split the file. So I can click on this side, and then I can just go ahead and cut it, and it just cuts it. Now you can also just click this and then literally just drag it, but splitting it does wonders if you want to take out little bits of chunks like in the middle of the file. So let's say if you want to take out the 135 to like two minute range, you can go over to one minute 35 seconds, press S, and then go all the way to the two minutes, press S, and then you can click on this middle track and cut, and cut it. And it's just that simple pretty much go to filters and then click this plus button and then we're gonna go over to this TV kind of screen and then you see this crop button right here and there's a whole lot of other choices um, just different things you can change the saturation so for instance if I want it to be really saturated I can or maybe I don't want it any saturation but and then I'm gonna also go ahead and crop it so maybe I want to make it look a little more professional, like it's sort of a movie or something, I guess. Then I can maybe put the top to maybe 100 pixels and then put the bottom to 100 pixels as well. Now I just want to show you guys what it looks like now, just this, just this transition with the color correction and also the cinematic kind of feel. It looks a whole lot better, I think. So pretty much those are the basics of how to use Shotcut. Now once you're finished with your final product and you're all happy with how it looks, you can go ahead and click on this export button and you're going to want to export it as a H.264 high profile. And then under video you're going to want the resolution, pretty much all of this, frames per second, you're going to want to put this as 2997. And then you're going to want to make sure this is on progressive. Now you also want to make sure your format is an MP4. This is a must. You have to have it as an MP4 or else things won't work. And last but not least, you're going to go to Kodak and then make sure everything's the same. And I'm going to go ahead and change the quality to 70%. And after you get all that done, then you can just go ahead and export file. And I'm going to go ahead and export it as test and then click save and then there you can see the progress and you can see how much time is left for it to export okay so once it's finished exporting you can just go ahead and right click show in folder and then we can also go ahead and just exit out of this and here it is and it turned out pretty nice I guess as you can see fades fades into this and I think it turned out pretty good. So, so yeah, I hope this tutorial did help you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like. Let's go for 300 likes. And with that being said, be sure to subscribe. Let me know what tutorials you would like to see next. And it's been your boy Havoc here, and I'm out. Peace.